Well, when they asked me to do this presentation, they were looking for someone to do sort of a, a counterpoint to uh, the other presentations that were done by vendors and uh, by other uh, manufacturers and things like that. So I come from kind of a Hollywood perspective, and I come from a perspective as an independent camera person, as an independent visual effects person. And really, you could summarize my whole talk on a napkin, which we did, which is to say that uh, when we wrote it out on a napkin, we wrote out, it's too expensive, uh, it's too much data, and no one will pay for it. So therefore, um, that's kind of the crux of what I'm talking about in my presentation, which is all of the ways in which 4K, it's great, it's aesthetically pleasing, it's very cool if you're a camera person, and it's very cool if you're a visual effects person, but the problem is the economics at this stage of the game don't really add up. And uh, the point of my talk, really, is that you can't decouple the cinematography from the post-production and from the visual effects. And if you look at those things in aggregate, it really is too expensive to do 4K right now. And part of what I'm going to talk about as well, part of what I talked about as well, is that uh, the 4K market is really determined by the studios and by the broadcasters. And the studios right now are making 30% less feature films per year. They're very much reliant on tent poles as their, what we call tent poles, as their sort of foundational economic model for making films in, in uh, the United States and worldwide. And the broadcasters are really trying to figure out after the failure of 3D TV what the next technology that they're going to get into is going to be and they're very concerned that they're going to end up with another 3D TV, which really failed miserably in the United States. And so really the point of my talk is about looking at the economics from the point of view of who's actually going to pay for this technology. And the studios certainly are not going to take what is four times the data and pay you four times the money. And that is an important point to make because without getting um, a value added on top of your, uh, your content or bid originally, you're not really going to be able to make any money with 4K because it's very expensive to implement within a facility um, and within a, uh, a visual effects facility or within a broadcaster. So um, my point is that it really needs to be tempered, all of this needs to be tempered with a bit of economic reality in order for 4K to move forward. And that pretty much is the, the summary of my talk. Okay.